Alabama is now the latest state to end federal pandemic unemployment pay. This includes that $300 weekly bonus many business owners say contributes to labor shortages. Governor Kay Ivey announcing this afternoon the state will end its participation in all federally funded pandemic unemployment pay programs effective June 19th. Joining states like Montana, South Carolina and most recently Arkansas. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey joins us now live. Andrea, the governor says the federal government was incentivizing people to stay at home. Yeah, that's right, Kim. And it seems like everywhere you go these days, you see the now hiring or join our team signs up in store windows. The state says that the one ads are up overall 40% and it's even higher in certain sectors. As pandemic restrictions lifted, feeding the lunch rush at Roosters on Dolphin Street required more staff, which wasn't easy to come by, says owner Frankie Little. It was just bringing in new people once we started to get really busy. What have you done to be competitive? I just actually raised uh, wages for my staff, um, also more uh, bonus incentive type stuff for my staff. He's certainly not alone. Other restaurant owners say they've raised wages to attract more employees, but in some cases that's still not enough. And they've had to cut operating hours because they don't have enough workers. Today at a press conference in Huntsville, Governor Kay Ivey called in from the Capitol, saying she just met with Alabama's Labor Secretary and was concerned about too many businesses in the state struggling to find workers. We still have to wait. Little says hiring in his industry has always been hard, but what's really concerning to him, unemployment fraud he knows firsthand is taking place. We got a lot of, or a good handful of unemployment claims, some people that I've never heard of before, never worked here, and just think of how many of our tax dollars went to fraud. The governor's office says there are more job openings now than prior to the pandemic, and it is giving the federal government on notice that it's time to get back to work. Reporting live in Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.